Okay guys, this is Matt from Daddy Duck 365. A little life lesson I'm gonna teach y'all today, or just to even remind you about. We're duck hunters. We're out here in the water, we're in the mud. Right here we have this beautiful swamp we've been hunting in this morning. But what happened was, as I was picking up, um, I had leaned my shotgun in a tree, and it fell into the water. And if you can see, the gun is unloaded. I unloaded it. It's full of mud. Well, here's your, your lesson, your tip for today. In my boat, I always carry a gun rod. And uh, I carry some patches. Uh, if you're shooting old browning like I am, you need to be very, very careful when you're taking it apart. Most other guns don't have that spring where it'll shoot up all over the place and you end up losing everything. Um, don't have a tip for it. But we're going to run some patches and try to push some of this mud out of the way. I would run it down, but all that's going to do is go into my receiver, and I don't want that. So, no further ado, we are going to try to take this thing apart. Sorry about that. We just got buzzed by a bunch of blackbirds. I thought they were ducks for just a second. Here we go. I felt it come up. Okay. You don't want your cap and your spring flying all over the place. That is for sure. And I'm just going to take a patch, a little cloth, you can use a rag, or toilet paper, whatever you got. I'm going to stuff it in here. Now, if you've got a synthetic gun, you can always try to rinse your barrel out and not do all this. But if you got a nice gun like I do, there we go, my little turd. And there you go, a little mud turd just came out the end of my barrel. Take another look at it. I wouldn't say it's clean as a whistle, but it will work and it will get you back into running. Um, I'm gonna put this gun together, put it in a gun case and get it home and give it a more detailed cleaning just to make sure I get all, everything out. Little tip, I carry a lot of stuff in my boat, uh, my tool kit. One of them is gun cleaning kit. You never know uh, when you may need it. Um, I think of all the years I've been hunting, this is the second time I've had to do this. So anyway, this is a tip. I'm Matt, Daddy Duck 365, and we'll see you next time.